Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher. This last weekend, I spent some time at a Cherry Blossom Festival. It's a spring festival, um, and it features Asian culture, Pacific Islander Asian cultures. My stepson does wushu, which is Chinese martial arts, and his group performed. And right before his group, there was a Japanese drumming group, a taiko group. And they were called the Taiko Project. They're here in L.A. And uh, this isn't really so much a video about them. In fact, I'm not even sure they know that they're going to be on World Drum Club. So if you know them, you can tell them. But what I was impressed with about this group was the huge age range of the participants. And I think it's just a beautiful thing where people can join. This is an, you know, it's an amateur group. Um, all, most of the groups were amateur groups. And I just thought it was really nice to see older adults, young, uh, young adults or even children, and, and some pretty hardcore drummers, all in the same ensembles and all performing with such joy. I'm gonna show you some of the group right now in the background. And what I'd love for you to pay attention to is the age range, uh, the skill range, because not everybody was a professional. In fact, most of them are not professionals. They're, they're here doing this because they love to drum. And I just think it was, it was a really nice example of how people can participate in community drumming and do something traditional, do something physical, do something that is enjoyable in community and accessible to people of all levels. And I don't know about you, but I've tried taiko drumming. I don't do a lot of that kind of drumming, but I've tried taiko and I was impressed with it so much from the physical standpoint that actually back in the mid 2000s, I created what was one of the first fitness drumming programs called Tashiko Fitness Drumming. I actually ran it at my gym for a while and that was early to mid 2000s, so over about 15 years ago from now. And um, because I felt like the taiko drumming was so amazing in terms of physical fitness that you need. You know, it was like boxing. If you've ever done boxing, speed bag, or heavy bag, you know you need to be in great shape. So I think there's that aspect. But on top of that, it was just a really wonderful platform for people to get together, learn drumming, learn music, have fun, generate tremendous energy, generate tremendous community, and also represent one of our traditions. Uh, in world drumming, which is taiko drumming from Japan. Uh, so if you're not familiar with taiko, you can go look it up. That's not what this video is really about. This video is more about just saying, yeah, that's really cool. And I wanna encourage you all to join a community drumming group um, or start a community drumming group and just look into that as a way to engage further in our global drumming community and deepen your drumming practice, but also make friends, have a good time, get in shape, stay in shape, uh, and stay energized and excited about drumming. All right, that's it. Uh, you can look them up, Taiko Project in Los Angeles, and look up more about Taiko drumming. There's lots and lots of information online about that. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse. And if you have anything you want to say about anything I've said, uh, or you want to add something, or you want to add a resource, please leave them in, your, in the comments down below. And as always, visit us over at patreon.com slash Kalani to become a sustaining member of World Drum Club. Uh, go out and have a great day making music. I'll see you in a future video.